losers. It's episode six of President's Play Wordle. Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That is 100% the wrong show, Biden. How do you ruin every single intro, Biden? Sorry again, guys. I just got excited. Sleepy Joe is once again the most useless person on YouTube, and everyone hates it. Actually, Donald, the comment section on our last video loved him and said, you have tiny hands. That sounds like fake news, robot man. Are we playing Call of Duty zombies today? No, you shaky old man. This is Wordle. Explain again, please, Obama. Starting at three letter words, presidents compete all the way up to 13 letter words. And this is part two, as we only got up to six letters last video. This video is awesome. Subscribe to Parody Gaming. Let's go. My turn, losers. Seven letter word incoming. I don't think I even know any seven letter words. Absolutely none of our viewers are surprised, Biden. Sure you do, Joe. Potatoes, foolish and strange are all seven letter words. Oh, thanks, Obama. Then my first word is potatoes. They were just examples, Joe. This is our first ever two-parter video, and it's already clouded by Joe's uselessness. Screw you, grumpy Trumpy. I have decided on my first word, and it is bananas. That is a terrible word for Wordle, Joe. This is my turn, Obama-rama, and we are enemies this round, and I love bananas. Too healthy for this channel, Biden. Nobody even likes bananas. Well, that's completely wrong. I bet Trump has never eaten a banana, which is why he has diabetes. Since when do bananas cure diabetes, you moron. I think he means healthy eating in general, Donald. McDonald's is healthy and bananas are the worst fruit. And you are the worst president. I got a yellow N and a green S, so suck on that Trumpy rumpy. This round feels like a hard one. I'm gonna just type in needles and then we can get a clue from Donald. The clue for this round is that it is not the N-word. I'm not falling for this again, Donald. Oh my God, it's the N-word. No, I said it is not the N-word. Oh, f the three green letters line up with the N-word. Trumpy rumpy, you are going to get our channel deleted. No, I am not. It is 100% not the N-word. Jesus Christ, Trump, the green letters line up perfectly, and now I'm very scared. Well, it's my turn, but I don't want to type it in. Do it, Biden. Type in the N-word. Don't you f do that, Joe. Okay, I'm typing it, but people in the comments, please know that it's Trump's fault. No, Joe. How is it my fault? I told you it's not the N-word. I have an idea, Joe. Please type in the word wagons. Okay, Obama-rama, we are supposed to be working against each other this round, but Trump has done the unthinkable. Ha! I love how you both panic when I do this. What do you expect, Trump? All our hard work on this channel will be deleted. Okay, Obama-rama, I'm typing in wagons for you. Oh, you mother Well done, Joe. You got another two green letters. Thank you, Trumpy Rumpy. And good job, Obama-rama. This is really bad. How can you not see this, Biden? Oh, this looks really bad, guys, but I promise it's not the N-word. I don't see it. I'm gonna f***ing lose it, Donald. Oh, I think I know what it is. How is it not the N-word? N blank G, G, E blank S. This looks really bad, but I promise it's not the N-word. Seeing as you helped me, Obama-rama, we can share points and I can help you. Oh my God, Sleepy Joe is offering Robot Man help in Wordle. Oh, for God's sake, I feel like my brain is melting. I'm getting more and more stupid each day I talk to you both. Hey, Obama-rama, I'm not that bad. Yes, you are, Joe. How can you not see what Trump has done to us here? We have to end the video now. Biden offers Robot Man an olive branch in a simple game of Wordle, and I think he's having a mental breakdown. It's not the N-word, Obama. He's tricking you, Biden. How can you be so sleepy and stupid and old all at the same time? It's nuggets. What did you say? Nuggets, like McDonald's chicken nuggets. Trump loves nuggets. He sometimes calls them nuggies. I will try nuggets, and please God be correct. Oh my God, Joe, I'm so sorry for insulting you. <laughs> this is the best game of Wordle we've ever had. You are a piece of shit, Trump. You turned me against, Joe. No worries, Obama-rama. We all know how crazy Wordle can be. Don't forgive him, Joe. He called you sleepy, old, and stupid. Screw you, Donald. I'm never falling for that again. Whatever you say, robot man, your turn is next. Can't wait for this boring word. Okay, time to get serious now, guys. I have picked an eight-letter word for you guys to guess, and I think it's a good one. Here we go. Strap in viewers. Here comes the most boring word in the human in history. Leave him alone, Trump. I think Obama the llama comes up with great words. That's not saying much. Judging by how bad your speeches are, Biden, you are probably impressed by the words a two-year-old child comes out with. Can we just go one video without insulting each other for once, please? And Trump, hurry up and take your guess. Shut your mouth, you robot bitch. You are the one that always start the insults. You just called me a robot bitch for no reason. How am I the one that always start the insults, Trump? Because you always pick the most boring words when it's your turn. And it insults me with how bored I am with with it. F it. My guess is the word boring because I'm so bored of your bitch ass. Stop calling me a bitch and the word boring is only six letters, you moron. This is an eight letter round. I'll just whack two more G's on the end because you are so boring. I hated how you said that. Please never say that again. I'll do whatever I want. I'm Donald F 
Trump. And screw you, Barack. I got two green and three yellow letters. Whatever. Biden, it's your turn to guess. Please come up with a real eight-letter word here. I honestly thought the longest word in the dictionary was seven letters long. This must be a made-up word for Mr. Llama Man. Please, Joe, I beg you, stop calling me Mr. Llama Man. Also, Biden, you said at the end of the last video, you were going to practice and study the dictionary. We are supposed to be doing 13-letter words by the end of this video. This man is an idiot, and this video is going to be a mess. 5,000 letters likes on this video, and we will operate on Joe Biden's brain. Okay, let me think. Oh, God, we could be here all day. Hey, Joe, do you know the game? Would you rather? Yes, I love that game. Okay, great. Would you rather get pegged Wait, my what own? what the f is happening here? We are supposed to be playing Wordle. Yes, but we got bored of your terrible words, so we are having a quick game of would you rather. Okay, Sleepy Joe, get ready for this question. Oh, God, here we go. I'm ready, Trumpy Rumpy. Okay, would you rather every time you wanted to eat ice cream, you have to eat it out of Obama's wife's ass, or you can eat ice cream normally, but every time you do, Obama's wife has to eat ice cream out of your ass at the same time. What the actual f Trump? How f dare you? Hmm, that's a tricky one. No, it's not, Joe. Don't even answer it. We will get demonetized again. Joe, you have to answer it. It's the rules. Give me an answer now. So either I eat ice cream out of Michelle's ass or Michelle eats ice cream out of my ass? Hmm, this is hard. Hurry up and pick one, old man. Can I pick both? Joe, what the f is wrong with you? I'm not going to lie, Biden. That's kind of messed up. How's it messed up? You are the one that came up with the question. I don't like this. You are a sick, twisted, perverted old man, Biden. Hurry up and pick an option. Fine. I'll eat ice cream out of Obama's wife's ass as long as it's double chocolate chip. Joe? Don't worry. I think it will be triple chocolate chip after being in Michelle's ass. I can't take this anymore. Obama? Obama the llama, where did you go? He's actually left the call. Well done, Joe, you idiot. Look what you have done. You picked such a sick question, you made Obama leave. It's okay, Trumpy Rumpy. We can still have lots of fun together. And maybe he will come back when he has cooled down. Being stuck in a call with you is literally my worst nightmare. Hurry up and take your guess, you ice cream ass eater. Okay, I'm going for ice cream because all this ice cream talk has got me hungry. You truly surprise me every single day at how dumb you are. Thank you, Trumpy Rumpy. That was not a compliment, you moron. I hate to say it, but we need that nerd Obama back. It's my turn to guess, and I need a clue on this word. I'll ring him back. We are besties. He will definitely answer, but you have to apologize to him. Trump. Fine, whatever. Just call him. What do you idiots want? Trump has something to say, Obama. Do I have to just come back and play Obama? I need a clue. <laughs> nope, I'm leaving the call again. No, Obama-rama, wait, Trump, just say it! Jesus Christ, chill out, Joe. But fine, I'm sorry or whatever, Obama, you nerd. That's probably the worst apology I have ever heard, but fine. Looks like you need a clue. The word has something to do with my wife, Michelle. Oh, easy then. The answer is blowjobs, because Michelle is incredible at blowjobs. That's it. I'm done. Call me back when you have finished this round. Joe, I can't take this. Look what you did again, Sleepy Joe. You made him leave again. What? I did nothing. That was your fault again, Trump. Whatever. Just hurry up and guess. Let's get this round over with so we can get Barack back in the call. How cute. Trump, you actually miss Obama-rama. And my guess is the word readings because Obama-rama said it was something to do with Michelle. And I know she's good at writing books. I don't miss him, but I need someone else to shout abuse at. You are too easy to bully. It's like kicking a puppy. Also, I know what the word is. What's the word then, Trumpy? It has to be the word worthless. Why does it have to be the word worthless? Well, Obama said it was something to do with his wife. I don't know her, but if she's anything like that washed up president, she must be completely worthless. You are so lucky he's not here right now, Trumpy. He would be so mad. What's up, idiots? Have you finished this round yet? Oh, my God, Obama-rama is back. We missed you. Calm down, Joe. Jesus Christ, you're like a pathetic puppy. I see you're on your last guess, Biden. And what the hell was that last guess from Trump? The word worthless? I said it was about Michelle. Plus, it's spelt wrong. See, Obama, I was trying to type the word beautiful, but Wordle glitched and changed the word to worthless for some reason. Whatever. Joe, your clue is the word is literally the title of my wife's number one selling book. Oh, it must be Twilight. I love those books. I'm Team Jacob. I have posters of him on my wall. What the f***, Joe? You're a Twilight fan? And no, of course, Michelle didn't write Twilight, you idiot. It's her number one selling book called Becoming. Did Biden just admit to having a poster of a half-naked man on his wall? No, of course not. I meant to say I hate Twilight. Wordle glitched just like it did with Trump earlier. Let's move on. Oh, my God, he's a f Twilight fan. Shut up, Trump. Drop it. Let's just move on. This round has been an absolute mess. Here we go, guys. It's Biden's turn to pick the word. Let's see what stupid made-up word he has picked today. No made-up words today, Donnie. I feel like Obama-rama has not had a very good time in this video, but don't worry. I have picked a nice, sensible nine-letter word for you here. Okay, good. But I swear to God, Joe, if this is a made-up word or something that is spelt wrong or two separate words, I'm never playing with you idiots ever again. I promise, Obama, this is a good one. I think you're 
are going to be proud of me after this one. It's 100% a made up word. Literally five minutes ago, he said he thought words didn't go up to eight letters long. Comment below if you think Sleepy Joe has put a real word here or not. It's a real word, I promise. I used the Google to check. Fine, let's just get on with it. Let's play properly now. I'm going for the word education to find out some vowels. I honestly don't even know why you're typing in real words, Barack. Clearly this demented old wrinkly ball bag of a man has not put a real word. I'll have you know, Trump, my balls are very smooth and tight. I condition my balls every night with duck fat before bed. It makes them smell great and keeps them perky. What the f*** did I just listen to? You have something very wrong with your brain, Biden. Also, did you just claim to have perky balls? Is that even a thing? It's definitely not a thing. And no one in the history of the human race has ever conditioned their balls with duck fat. Well, maybe this human race, whoever they are, should start because it is great. Grumpy Trumpy, it is your turn to guess. Every single time you talk, Biden, I just want to punch you square in the face. My guess is fat and old because Biden is a big, fat old disappointment. Ha <laughs> ha, get wrecked, Trumpy, you are wrong. Stop calling people fat and old Trump. You are are literally one of the fattest and unhealthiest people I've ever met, and you are only three years younger than Biden. This senile old man has to condition his balls with duck fat. There is no way he is only three years older than me. He is lying, and he is at least 170 years old. Don't knock it till you have tried it, Trump. No one is trying putting duck fat on their balls, Joe. Can we have a clue what this word is, please? Sure thing, Obama-rama, just because you asked so nicely. The word is one of my favorite things on the planet. Great, so it's f***ing ice cream again? Nope, it's not ice cream this time, Trump with that fat dumpy. You leave my dumpy out of this. I honestly have no idea what this is. You promise this is a word for once, Joe? Because if it isn't, I'm leaving. It's a real word, Obama. You have my word as the current president of United States of America. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the word chocolate, as I know you love chocolate and might give us some more information. Unlucky Obama, this word is literally my favorite thing. I like it even more than ice cream. Oh my God, I know what it is. What do you think, Trump? It's got to be cocaine. That's the only thing he likes more than ice cream. Cocaine is only seven letters, Trump, and no, don't just whack two more E's on the end of it to make it a nine-letter word. Okay, fine, but it has to be drug-related. This sick, twisted old man loves his drugs. I'm going for the word marijuana. I'll shove some marijuana right up your ass if you keep talking shit. Trump, you fat orange Oompa Loompa looking ass. I just want you two to be nice to each other just one time. Wordle is just a toxic game that brings the worst out in people. I think we should play Call of Duty next week. I heard that's a really nice, peaceful game. Wordle is literally the least toxic game I can think of, and Call of Duty is literally the most toxic game I can think of. You two will be even worse if we play that. I think I'll have a heart attack if we play Call of Duty. There is just too much action going on for me. Oh my God, let's play Call of Duty and give Joe a heart attack. It's a a win win. We get to play a good game for once and kill Joe off at the same time. Actually, sounds quite fun. Comment below if you want to see us play a game of Call of Duty Zombies next week. And Joe, can you just tell me what this word is? I know it's not a real word. This is pointless. Nope, I can't tell you. I'm sorry, Obama, but it's my favorite meal. That's all I can say. Hey, Barack, I got a good idea. What's that, Trump? Just watch this and get ready to type the word. Hey, Sleepy Joe, I got a quick question to ask. Go ahead, Trumpy. What's your favorite meal? Tuna salad, of course. Go, Obama, go type fast with those little robot fingers of yours. I can't believe that actually worked. Fair play, Trump. Oh my God, I can't believe you guessed my word. I thought you would never get it. Biden, you are hands down the dumbest human being alive. I can't do this anymore today, guys. He promised it was a word that was in the dictionary again, and he put down fucking tuna salad. I've had enough. But Obama-rama, we were supposed to do 13-letter words today. Biden, you cannot even count to 13, let alone spell a 13-letter word. If this video gets 5,000 likes, we will do 13-letter words next video. My brain just can't deal with you two anymore today. Okay, I'm off to get some tuna salad then. Subscribe to Parody Gaming, guys.